So this is what happened to me the other day when filming with the AK4500. Yeah, doesn't look good, huh? So it's a great bit of kit, but potentially when you're setting it up, there's a very easy mistake to make, which could mean you'll end up breaking the gimbal and potentially smashing your camera and lens on the floor. So I wanted to put this video together so others can learn from what happened to me. You'll see what how it ended up uh, a little bit later in the video. But it all has to do with how the hyperlink handle is attached to the gimbal. So you need to make sure it's attached correctly. It's very easy to get it wrong. And unfortunately, that's because it's not clear in any of the instructions. There's nothing specifically. You'll see here on this image of the box how the handle is attached. And you'll notice at the bottom of it, there is nothing showing how it's actually attached. So this is what the um, grip looks like when you get it out of the box. And you'll notice that it has a screw on top. Now, like I say, there's nothing mentioned in instructions. So what you presume is that that screw goes into that hole on the handle. And it's a quarter 20. It fits quite nicely. You can screw it in. And once it's attached, it feels reasonably solid. And you even have the thumb screw uh, to, to tighten it up and adjust the position. So by any means, you would think this is how the handle attaches. So this was me filming with it in this configuration and the whole thing snapped, it gave way because it's a very flimsy connector. Luckily, my reactions were good enough that I was able to catch the gimbal a couple of inches off the floor and save the gimbal, my camera and the lens. So make sure when you are attaching the handle that you use the small screw attachment. Now this comes in the box, it's buried deep in the box, there's nothing on the box that tells you uh, what it's for or in the instructions, but this is how you attach the handle. So you attach it the other way up, you'll see that the, the two holes will actually mate together and then this screw attachment is what produces a nice strong uh, bond between the two once that's done up nice and tight. You can see that that's much stronger. Not that the other one doesn't feel strong, it's just that actually internally, which you can't see, there's a very thin connector, which is what snapped on mine. So make sure that you're mounting the handle in this configuration. If you're wondering what that actual little thumb screw thing is for, it's for actually mounting a phone mount so you can use your phone as a monitor. That's what it's designed for. Hopefully this video is useful. Hopefully you're watching this before you've put your AK4500 together. Thanks very much for watching. If it's been useful, hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you next time.